Hi there, this is Anthony at Maestro Music Centers in East Meadow, Long Island. Oops, gotta close your bench when you sit down. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about flute, home organ type flute sounds, uh, sustaining them, and using harmony intelligence. I grew up in the 1970s playing uh, on first a Wurlitzer and then a Lowry, and they had a very mellow uh, flute type sound. And I was not very good at playing, so I had to use sustain all the time. And I could not, at that time, understand how anyone could play without sustain, because my notes had a lot of space between them, and I just needed it to help me so badly. Today I understand, but back then I didn't. So now I do purposely use sustain when I would like to get a very lush and full sound. Now I powered up, I'm in an 18900 today with the update inside of it. But this will work if you're in a Lowry or if you're a big model or a small model. It's very straightforward. If you want to put sustain on, either you have buttons like on the 1890 or 80, you have buttons over here that say sustain. On the Lowry, you have the green uh, uh, jelly bean colored, you know, acrylic tabs that you can turn on. Um, but if you want to change the length of the sustain how, or how the sustain reacts, then you have to go into your utility or feature screens. So to get to that, on this model, I'm going to touch where it says sound and keyboard. And I'm, I'm going to go to upper first. And this is the default sounds. This is just from powering it up, right? And I have six pages to look at. Let's go over this way. Three pages, and you see sustain is set for long, but it's off. So if I don't have any sustain on, I'm going to hear this sound. If I turn it on, it's long. Now I want to go to the lower and turn it on as well. I can just touch right there where it says lower and go also to page three. And that's on middle. I'm going to make it long. Okay, so I have it on two keyboards. And then I don't know if any of you who have the Platinum or have the 900 have noticed, when you're in your vintage organ screen on the bottom, you have an option to change the flute between rock and jazz. Well, if you're using the preset sounds that are already in the organ, and you change it, you get a different rotary speaker effect, a different Leslie. One is a two cone and one is a one cone. I like this rock one. It's much more mellow sounding for me. and. Uh, uh, you know, one of them would have the tweeter and the woofer spinning at different speeds. One would have them both, you know, on the same assembly. So I'm going to leave it on rock. And uh, if you go back to your sound screen on a screen model and you touch the little arrow here next to the word full organ, for example, this page can stay up. So they, all of these are actually preset combinations of harmonic bars. Now, I did not grow up with these, as I just told you. I didn't have play Hammond organs or anything, but I do use them now. So, you know, I do like to use these when I perform now because I have real full control over the volume when I use it. But these are also really nice. So, the, the sound that everyone recognizes is like a Jesse Crawford sound, kind of what Lowry likes to use on a Roland is actually full organ number four. So if you go to full organ four, It's a really nice, lush, traditional theater, quote unquote, type sound that you can use. Okay? Now I'm playing with many fingers, right? And I know that not all of you do. I happen also to really love full organ number nine, which is generally on the larger models. Now this sounds like a home organ did to me, and it's mostly because of the sustain. Now, you don't have to like my sound. <laughs> I like my sound. I'm the player. You will all have stuff. Some of you love pipe organs. Some of you like theater. Some of you like jazz. But this is what I like. So you can apply this to anything that you happen to like. I don't need someone knocking me because, well, I don't like that sound. Well, uh, that's okay. You don't have to. I do. So this is a really nice sound. I also really like the ballad organ and the good old organ. Um, they're kind of 1960s, 1950s sounds, you know? Now I'm playing with a lot of 
out fingers again? How do you do that? That's where the harmony intelligence comes in. So uh, let me go, uh, let's go back to like just full organ one. Okay? Harmony intelligence, if I turn the button on, the screen's gonna change. And it says I have five pages of harmony intelligence. Now some of them have words. Organ, big band, string, and this one has a star, and this is lit is traditional. And what traditional will do, it doesn't matter whether you're playing one finger chords or a few finger chords, that screen goes away, sorry. Now you gotta play up an octave, see what happens if I play a middle C, gets deep. And this is based on the original Lowry AOC idea, which almost every manufacturer of instruments uh, got the patent on to you, so. If I go to pick the one that says organ, it's actually going to change the sound because it's, it's going to make an organ sound but different than what I was just playing, all right? That's much more theater. Let's go to string. Him. Now, although they're changing sound, all of them are layering notes in a different order. So if you're in a model where you only have these and they change the sound, you can turn it on first and then go in and change the sound to the sound that you want. So I'm going to go now a few pages in. You see there's lots of, lots of different combinations of sound. And we're going to go to these. It starts with octave, with the stars, okay? So I'm going to just press one note. So that adds only one harmony note to what I'm playing. much of change partially because of the sound that I picked and also because of the sustain. I happen to do, I do like to use these, one note, two note, three note when I'm doing stuff like organ, but some of the organ sound, let's pick up a little bit of a bright one. See like two note adds a low note, three goes up, four goes up. Big band goes down. Okay, it'll move what the notes are. If you were to select, I'm going to turn the sustain off a minute. If we were to select, let's go into brass. And I, I'm, this is one of those sounds that's kind of neat. Sax and clarinet. I should have been smarter. Turn it off first, then change my sound. sound, 
you may find that one of these other harmony types, block is great if you're doing big band stuff. Doesn't matter, you know, it's supposed to be a George Shearing type arrangement, it works great for big band, as does string. Organ does work very nicely if you pick other organ sounds. So if I go back to my organ sound and turn my sustain back on again and decide to pick organ. <laughs> Change our lower sound a little bit. Sustain, you'll get time between your notes to play. It tends not to work as to sound as good on the jazz. It does, it's all right, but you got more of that pop. It's less smooth. It is much smoother when you use the full organ, up to good old organ. Those are the home organs. You can also use lower organs. Lower organs basically are organ sounds lacking anything deeper than an eight foot pitch. So they're very mellow. This is just an eight foot pitch, this is lower one. The reason I show you this is because if you choose to use the harmonic bars, you can't really use sustain on them if you set them the vintage type as flute. If you set it as theater, then yes. Right now if we turn what's on off and I set it on theater and I use the harmonic bars. This way, it doesn't matter how far you pull them out, it's basically just on and off. It's not really volume control. So no, if you're using it on pipe or theater, you're only going to get that. All right? On a Lowry, if you're in a large model with the purple tabs, then that sound will come there. So um, these are the tabs. They're digitized on our instruments today. Um, old school, so it looks supposed to look like a rocker. And of course, if we're in flute, it shows you the movement of the draw bars as you use them full time. Okay? But uh, nice soft way to play. If you're a one finger player, you know, put on your easy uh, one finger button and play along. Make sure that your bass uh, coupler is on so that it plays the bass with your chord so you don't have to wonder. And that if you need that on a roll, make sure you have on chord intelligence so that that's, it will play along. If you're in a, here I just push a button, easy one finger and I'm good to go. But if you're in a, another model, a, a smaller model, you press the to lower button in the bass section and it will turn on the easy one finger 
One, two, three, with memory and sustain and everything to hold a few. All right? Um, sustain. It's good. You'll like it. Have some fun with that. All right? Have a great week. Bye.